I think what we really need to do from a technology perspective is sit down and try to develop basically a technology timeline for your fund. You know, what are you going to look at? Um, start with the list of what you have today. Okay? And this sounds kind of simple or sounds kind of elementary, but uh, Ken and I both run into this on a very regular basis that if the guy really never paid attention to some of the tools he had and bought other monitors or other things, when in reality he could have done that same thing with something he currently had and maybe spent a lot of money, or maybe ended up with such a mix or variety of stuff that he's running uh, a lot of monitors when he didn't need to be. So really try to sit down, make a list, you know, what are you using for GPS receivers, yield monitors, controllers, population monitors, different sensors, you know, tractor, combines, etc. But make your list of the technology things that you have, uh, that you currently have on your farm. And then start to answer the questions, well, where do I want to be in next year? Or where do I want to be maybe in three years? And start to list out some of the things that you're looking at for where you want to be able to go. Um, when, once we do this, if we know that in three years from now you want to be able to do auto swap and variable rate on our planner, that might change what we do back up here with the yield line of the city. So if all these things are end up relating together versus if three years from now we decide, oh, I want to do this, but I've really got to start back over on, on the monitor that I, that I had even from a yield monitoring perspective. So try to come up with this timeline here to get a handle on what we want to do. And again, this is the reality of what we see out there. Here's an example of a grower. Uh, it's got a yield monitor with a, just a case IH or AFS monitor that's in it. He's doing BRT or variable rate population with his planner, with a with a Green Star one, uh, with with a satellite receiver, um, and then he wants to auto steer his uh, planner, and he has to have a second GS one and a, and a receiver, second receiver for being able to do that. Now he's going to variable rate his nitrogen. He's using a, a PDA with a wash signal there, and this is a sprayer he's got uh, to do auto swap with Easy Boom and Trimble GPS. And now he wants to do his planner uh, auto swath to that, and he's going to have to upgrade to GS2 instead of GS1. Okay? Sounds confusing, sounds jumbled, but this is a real example. We didn't make this up. Okay? And I think that this happens more often than not on the farm because maybe whoever you're working with on your combine doesn't help you with these other decisions, or people that are working with you on your planter and variable rate things aren't working with you on, on your sprayer or on your yield monitor. So really sit down and think about what we're doing so we don't get in a situation where we've got six monitors and five different GPS receivers to accomplish a goal.